Hi, it's Chester at Blue Beacon Computer Training, and in this video, we're going to look at combining concatenation with the if function. So, in my first scenario, I want to join first, middle, and last name together. And to do that, I'm just going to very simply use the ampersand symbol. The ampersand symbol joins things together. And I'm going to join that with a space, then with the middle name. Another ampersand and another space. Another ampersand there and with the last name. Now if I copy this down, you'll see there's a bit of a problem here because where there is no middle name, I get two spaces between the first and the second name. Now, there's quite a few ways you could deal with this. There is the trim function that would get rid of a double space, but we're gonna do it with the if function. We're gonna say if, B2, so B2 contains the middle name. If that is blank, so I can use the is blank function to evaluate whether that is blank. And the value of true, this argument here, is going to be an empty text string. So it will return literally no text. And the value if false is going to be B2. So in other words, if B2 isn't blank, then we want to return the value within it. Then I want to ampersand B2 with a space. So I'll put my close bracket for the if at the end there. If I press enter and now copy this down, you can see it gets rid of the double spaces between the first and the last name. Now, if you have Excel 365, this task is much, much easier because you'll have the text join function. So the delimiter is what you want to separate out your values with. So we'll say that's a space, comma, and this is the argument that's going to skip over blank names. So we can say true, ignore empty cells, comma, and then we just select all the cells that we want to concatenate or join together. That's first name, middle name, and last name. Close the bracket, press enter. If I copy that down, you can see it does the job for me without having to use this more complicated if function. Okay, let's look at another example. So this is a bit of a different scenario. I've got all my regions here and I wanna list all the staff in each of those regions. So all the Southern region staffs I want listed in one cell and then the same for the other regions. Now I'm going to have to use text join for this. My delimiter is going to be a comma and a space. I want to ignore empties. And then my text, I'll have to use an if. So I'm going to say, does the region, so I can select the whole of that region column and fix it. Drag this out of the way. Does that region equal this region here? If true, return the corresponding sales rep name, which we also need to fix. Otherwise, return an empty text string. Now, if I close the bracket for if, and then text join, press enter, you can see it lists all the Southern Region sales reps. If I copy this down, it'll do the same for the other regions. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe and I'll see you next video.